Today, I'm in Nakameguro to check out the cherry blossoms. But first, let's grab some lunch. The stand-up soba spot I wanted to hit up was closed, so I just picked this place on a whim. Japanese fast food at its best. Stand-up soba spots. You can slurp down a bowl in under 10 minutes. Purchase your ticket from the vending machine outside. Mm -hmm. The coin I inserted came back. Heads up, some vending machines can't recognize the new 500 yen coin released in 2021. Place your ticket on the counter. Make sure to collect your change. In many stand-up soba spots, you get to choose between soba, buckwheat noodles, or udon, wheat flour noodles, and then decide whether you want them hot or cold. It's recommended to split disposable chopsticks vertically, as this helps prevent bumping elbows with the person next to you. Still, I bet most people split them horizontally. Let's add some nanami. Shichimi means seven flavors, and ichimi refers to a single type of chili. However, because they can be difficult to pronounce in English, the company has branded it as nanami. I'm aware that in many countries, slurping noodles is considered bad manners. However, as a Japanese person, I just can't enjoy noodles without slurping them. Slurping introduces air, enhancing the flavor, and helps bring up the soup too. Please be understanding during your travels in Japan. It's also said that eating noodles without biting them off is tidier, but I don't manage it very well, so don't stress about it. Japanese people also tend to make noise when drinking soup. The reason is the same as with noodles, it makes the soup taste better. This is considered fast food in Japan, so remember to return your plates. All you need to do is place your tray on the shelf, and it's polite to say, Gochi so sama, or thank you. Before we head to a well-known cherry blossom viewing spot, I'd like to introduce a hidden gem, Meguro Sky Garden. One of the perks in Japan is being able to drink in public spaces. However, drinking is not allowed in this area. This garden utilizes the rooftop section of the Ohashi Junction on the expressway and is home to over 1,000 trees, including cherry blossoms and pines. This place showcases flowers that bloom in April. And here are the restrooms. Have you ever seen the movie Perfect Days? It's an excellent film, so I highly recommend watching it. The film centers on someone who cleans Japanese restrooms. When the lead actor won the Best Actor Award at the Cannes Film Festival, he mentioned, Shibuya has clean restrooms. Apparently, that comment got quite a laugh from the audience. In reality, many restrooms are indeed clean these days, and of course, they're free to use. Let's head up this gently sloping path. Oh, look! cherry blossoms. It seems they've already sprouted some leaves, a phase called hazakura, leaves with sakura. Many people in Japan find sakura with leaves less appealing. This spot might receive more sunlight. This variety is called yaishi dare sakura. There are many types of sakura. The most famous and popular one is someyoshino, which has pale pink petals. However, the weather this season is often cloudy, which can make the sakura petals appear less vibrant. Oh, those are blooming beautifully. The petals are a vibrant shade of pink with some red ones mixed in. What are those? <laughs> Genpei Shidare Momo. Pine trees also contribute to the Japanese atmosphere. But that popular tree over there is some Yoshino. It's leafless and stunning. This year, they bloomed later than usual, reaching full bloom at the beginning of April. The blooming period varies each year, making it hard to plan a trip specifically to see the cherry blossoms. If you slightly miss the Sakura season, you can still catch them by traveling north or south within Japan. The crows are gathering something. Crows seem to be a distinctive feature in Japan. They're very smart, but sometimes viewed as symbols of unrest. However, up close, they're quite charming. I ascended the gentle slope and reached the top. This garden leads to a tall apartment building. 
on a clear day, you might be able to see Mount Fuji. Well, I think that might be tough this season. Upon entering the tower, you'll find a public library. After descending with the elevator, you'll come across the large road we saw after having soba. Oh, there's a Biang Biang noodle restaurant. The character for Biang is famously complex with 57 strokes. This is a highway. Nearby, there's the Maguro River, known for its stunning cherry blossoms. Let's check out the Sakura trees. There they are. The left side is where the base of the park we visited is located. The Ikijiryohashi area isn't too crowded. The closer we get to Nakamaguro, the more crowded it becomes. Even on the Ikijiryohashi side, it's beautifully serene and the atmosphere is more relaxed. For a peaceful cherry blossom viewing, I recommend the areas near Ikijiryohashi or Meguro Sky Garden. After crossing this road, which features a Don Quixote store, we'll reach the Nakamaguro River again. This Starbucks is a special edition called Roastery Tokyo. It gradually becomes more crowded. Along the river, there are 830 Someyoshino cherry trees stretching over 3.8 kilometers, 2.4 miles. Oh, this moving car appeared in the film Perfect Days. It looks like someone is cleaning a restroom. This park is located near the river. It also boasts a lot of cherry trees. Many people seem to be enjoying alcohol along with the cherry blossoms. Drinking while cherry blossom viewing is a tradition in Japan. Hmm. It appears drinking isn't allowed here. In reality, the cherry blossoms are even more beautiful than in this video, especially when the weather is clear. This place is very tranquil. Next to this park is a Japanese garden. It's closed on Tuesdays and the day after if Tuesday is a holiday. Entry is free. Beautiful Japanese garden, isn't it? In Japan, the changing seasons are significant, and Japanese gardens reflect the seasonal transformations through various plants. Let's check out the pond. There are carps in it. They're not as colorful as koi, but their presence in the water has a soothing effect. This is called a chozusha, used for purifying your hands and mouth before entering shrines or temples. It seems for now, it's not placed here for that purpose. If you're deeply interested in Japanese history, there's plenty of information available, but just soaking in the serene atmosphere is rewarding in itself. Heading back down to the Meguro River. The closer we get to the station, the more crowded it becomes. Beer and sparkling wine are being sold. Oops. There was a trend called 10 yen bread a while back. Of course, it's not actually 10 yen. This is Hashidaya, well known for its oyakodon. Oyako means parent and child, symbolizing the chicken and eggs in the dish. Arrived at Nakameguro Station, the cherry blossoms paired with the train create a beautiful scene. It's crowded, so I'm moving slowly ahead. The izakayas near the station are packed. They have a traditional look. Actually, all Samyoshino cherry trees share the same DNA. 
they can't produce seeds for certain reasons, so they're propagated through a method where a branch is cut and grafted onto another piece of wood. This process is known as grafting. This is why they bloom simultaneously and look utterly breathtaking. Here we are in front of the station. The Meguro River is just a short walk from the station. Heading to the front of the station, police and security staff are managing the crowds. A policeman is making an announcement. Cities with medium to large stations typically have pachinko parlors. If you need to use a restroom, most pachinko parlors allow non-customers to use their facilities. Pachinko parlors are generally not favored, but they compensate by contributing to the community. Evangelion seems to still be very popular. The station located further back is Nakamaguro Station. Nitori, located near the station, is like the Japanese version of IKEA, offering kitchenware and more at reasonable prices. That aqua-colored skateboard is... Loop. It's a rental electric skateboard. Unlike many countries that don't require docks for skateboards and bicycles, in Japan, they must be parked at designated docks. Wearing a helmet is not mandatory. The law changed in July 2023, so you no longer need a driver's license, making it accessible for travelers as well. Just like that. Additionally, there are rental electric bicycles available, like Docomo Bike Share and Hello Cycle. Cities with medium to large stations typically feature shopping streets, making it very convenient. There's a variety of shops available. Butchers, fruit and vegetable shops, cafes, there's no need for a car in Japan. You might discover something fun. While strolling along this shopping street, I spotted a beer bar with a charming sign that reads Beer Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab a drink. I ordered the Schmatz Tokyo IPA, brewed right here in Tokyo. Ah. In 1994, the liquor tax law was amended, allowing small breweries to produce beer. This led to the gradual rise of craft beer popularity. There are many beer varieties. There is also a magazine entirely dedicated to craft beer. The bar's name is Beer Boy, but curiously, the glasses read Beam Boy. The beer I ordered has a slight berry flavor and a pleasing bitterness, typical of IPAs. It is said that young people in Japan are gradually drinking less beer. However, since we commute by train, there are many opportunities to drink, such as with co-workers. Speaking of sakura, the term is also used to describe fake customers who are hired to attract more patrons to a shop. The phrase Sakura Blooms was historically used in letters to indicate passing an exam, though it's rarely used today. It was delicious. Nakameguro is filled with cool restaurants and shops. Here is a lounge where you can drink and play table tennis. You can try horse meat here, commonly referred to as Sakura meat. This place has a thoroughly Japanese atmosphere. Thai food restaurant. Delicious rice and hamburger steak restaurant. A cafe that focuses on sound quality. A spa close to the railway. A western style restaurant that always has a line. There's also an ice cream shop that consistently draws a crowd. There's a supermarket near the railway as well. Let's buy a can of beer and enjoy it somewhere relaxing. It's not illegal, but please refrain from drinking while while walking during this season, as advised by the committee.
Sakura become especially photogenic at night against the sky. Actually, the lanterns are supposed to be lit until 8 p.m., but it's past that time. It's still bustling here. This area has several stalls, so it's quite bright. They're selling dango, sweet dumplings. There's a proverb that says, dango rather than flowers, suggesting it's better to prioritize practical benefits over aesthetic pleasures. Ideally, we'd enjoy both, right? Someone is singing. Traditionally in Japan, there were entertainers who sang at bars and izakayas, known as nagashi. Is he a modern-day nagashi? This nostalgic song is all about two young people chasing their dreams. Both of them succeeded, and one even became a famous director, Takeshi Kitano. This place is the same as it was this afternoon, but it takes on a different look at night. The lanterns have been turned off, but the Sakura Festival is still in full swing. Sakura typically falls about a week after reaching full bloom, a fleeting beauty. Well, let's head back home. It's crowded, so please head back home carefully. 